Ever since Apple introduced Dynamic Island on iPhones, we haven't seen much innovation from their side. Even with iOS 18, no major new features were added to make this space more useful. But don't worry, if you own a Dynamic Island equipped iPhone, then there are some amazing third-party apps that let you make the most out of it. In this video, I will show you how to add actually useful Dynamic Island widgets to your iPhone. Before we begin, make sure to download the iScreen app and the Island Widgets app on your device. Both are available for free and you will find the download links in the description of this video. First, let's check out the iScreen app. After launching it, tap on the Dynamic Island tab from the bottom bar. Here, you will find a wide range of Dynamic Island and Live Activity widgets. Some are free while others require a premium subscription. In this video, we will only be exploring the free widgets. Some of the useful Dynamic Island widgets that you will find here include the Panel Island. This widget adds a cool Apple logo in the status bar of your device. You can also long press on the widget to access cool information area, which shows the current brightness level, status of Wi-Fi, cellular internet and Bluetooth as well as the current free space on your device. This is a nice widget that shows at a glance information about your device. Moving on, you also have the free calendar widget that will show you today's date in the status bar. You can also expand the widget to access a two weeks calendar, which can be very useful at times. Another cool and free widget is the launcher island, which can show up to 10 app icons in the status bar, letting you launch them quickly no matter where you are on iOS. In addition to the iScreen app that we have just showed you, you can also check out the island widgets app. This app gives you access to a wide range of free and paid dynamic island widgets. This includes the widgets to show active energy stats, Pomodoro widget, duty timer, apps shortcut, calendar and many more. You can also customize these widgets by adding custom background color and changing text color for these widgets, giving them a more personalized touch. And there you have it. This is how you can add some really cool and useful widgets to your iPhone's dynamic island and make this space more useful. If you found this video helpful, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more iPhone tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.